What does the Bible say about self-defense? We're going to answer that question. The Bible gives no all-encompassing statement on self-defense. Some passages seem to speak of God's people being pacifistic, yet there are other passages that approve of self-defense. Under what circumstances is personal self-defense appropriate? The proper use of self-defense has to do with wisdom, understanding, and tact. In Luke 22, 36, Jesus tells his remaining disciples, If you don't have a sword, sell your cloak and buy one. Jesus knew that now was the time when his followers would be threatened, and he upheld their right to self-defense. Just a short time later, Jesus is arrested and Peter takes a sword and cuts off someone's ear. Jesus rebukes Peter for that act. In his zeal to defend the Lord, Peter was standing in the way of God's will. Jesus had told his disciples multiple times that he must be arrested, put on trial, and die. In other words, Peter acted unwisely in that situation. We must have wisdom regarding when to fight and when not to. Exodus 22 gives some clues about God's attitude towards self-defense. If a thief is caught breaking in at night and is struck a fatal blow, the defender is not guilty of bloodshed. But if it happens after sunrise, the defender is guilty of bloodshed. Two basic principles taught in this text are the right to own property and the right to defend that property. The full exercise of the right to defense, however, depended on the situation. No one should be too quick to use deadly force against another, even someone who means to do him harm. In the event of a surprise attack where the victim was confused or disoriented and killed the thief, the law wouldn't charge him with murder. On the other hand, if the thief was caught midday when the victim is alert, then the law forbade the killing of the thief. Both situations could be considered self-defense, but deadly force was expected to be a last resort. Paul engaged in self-defense on occasion, although non-violently. When he was about to be flogged by the Romans in Jerusalem, Paul quietly informed them that he was a Roman citizen. The authorities immediately began to treat Paul differently, knowing they had violated Roman law by even putting him in chains. The persistent widow in Jesus' parable kept pounding on the judge's door with the repeated plea, grant me justice against my adversary. This widow was not about to give up and let her enemy take advantage of her. Through the proper channels, she pursued self-defense. Jesus' command to turn the other cheek has to do with our response to personal slights and offenses. Some situations may call for self-defense, but not retaliation in kind. Our self-defense is not a vengeful reaction to an offense. In fact, many offenses can simply be absorbed in forbearance and love. The Bible never forbids self-defense, and believers are allowed to defend themselves and their families. But the fact that we are permitted to defend ourselves does not necessarily mean we must do so in every situation. Knowing God's heart through reading His Word and relying on the wisdom that comes from heaven will help us know how to best respond in situations that might call for self-defense. That answers the question, what does the Bible say about self-defense? Research this question further on our website, gotquestions.org. Give a thumbs up and be sure to click subscribe. Meanwhile, if you'd like to study more, click the bell and check out these other questions.